Top 7 Largest Metropolitan Cities in Malaysia Cities are ranked according to their population density, land area, and infrastructure accessibility. We also highlighted a few of the most well-known tourist attractions in the chosen cities. Number 7. Greater Malacca Greater Malacca covers the area of Malacca City and Hang Tua Jaya Municipal Council. The metropolitan area covers 307.86 square kilometers of land with total population of 642,761 in 2020. Its capital and largest metropolis is Malacca City. The economy of Malacca is largely based on tourism and manufacturing. The city is approximately 152 kilometers from Malaysia's capital city, Kuala Lumpur. Malacca, also known as the historic city, is one of the most historically rich states in Malaysia. In 2008, UNESCO listed Malacca as World Heritage Site. Forts, museums, cathedrals, and towers still bear the marks that the British, Dutch, and Portuguese armies left behind. The Porta de Santiago, or a Famosa, was once built by the Portuguese as a fortress to protect against attacks by the Dutch. St. Paul's Church is a historic church building in Malacca City. The Dutch governor had the Stadthuis built, a beautiful building with some obvious Dutch traits. Next to the Stadthuis you will be able to find Christ Church, in which you can recognize the Dutch architecture of that time more clearly. The Maritime Museum is a replica of the Portuguese ship which sank in the coast of Malacca while on its way to Portugal. The replica is a staggering 34 meters in height and 8 meters in width. The Malacca Sultanate Palace is a wooden replica of Sultan Mansur Shah's 15th century palace. Jonker Wok is the Chinatown area of Malacca. It was once known for its antique shops but have since turned into a well-known tourist destination that features clothes, food, and crafts. In recent years, Malacca has received numerous international accolades. The city has been listed by several publications, including Forbes and Lonely Planet, as one of Asia's and world's top travel destinations. Another great attraction is a boat trip on the small river that runs through the city. The tour is fun during the daytime, but also pleasant to do in the dark at night. Other cultural attractions such as Little India, Portuguese Settlement and Baba Nyonya Heritage Museum. Malacca is also well known for its great food. The various street dishes and delicacies of Malacca include, but not limited to, satay chalup, chicken rice balls, while wonton noodles. Assam pettas with fish, durian chendal. One of the interesting destinations worth visiting if you are visiting the state of Malacca. Also known as the floating mosque because this mosque seems to float when the tide is high. The great dome which can be clearly seen from a distance with its golden blue color that combines with the blue sea, creates another phenomenon of unity that is a pillar of historic Malacca. Number 6. Greater Kota Kinabalu Greater Kota Kinabalu comprises the districts of Kota Kinabalu in Ampanang, Tweran, and Papar. In 2020, the combined population of these metropolitan area 731,410 people, a combined area of 3,277 square kilometers. Kota Kinabalu is the state capital and the largest city in Sabah, Malaysia. The Pan Borneo Highway is Malaysia's biggest road project that's connecting two Malaysian states, Sabah and Sarawak. Kota Kinabalu is the sixth largest metropolitan cities in Malaysia. The Sabah Zoological and Botanical Park or Lakawi Wildlife Park in Lakawi, about 20 kilometers south of the city, is the first zoo in Sabah. The must-visit attractions in Kota Kinabalu is the Filipino Handicraft Market, jam-packed with small stalls offering dried local produce and handicrafts from Sabah, Philippines, and Indonesia. Peak Nam Tung 
one of the most beautiful Chinese temples in Sabah. Located among housing estate beside Lorong Bunga Bakawali 3 in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. The Tunku Abdul Rahman Park is a group of five different islands. You can also indulge in various water sports like snorkeling, scuba diving, and witness the beautiful coral and marine life of the island. Kota Kinabalu is also the gateway to one of the most popular conservation areas in Malaysia. Kinabalu Park The park is a two-hour drive away from the city. In Sabah, climbing Mount Kinabalu is consistently one of the top things to do. Not only it is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its wealth of flora and fauna, but also recorded as Malaysia's tallest mountain. A trip to Kota Kinabalu will not be complete without stopping by Kundasong town. It is located in the highlands of Rana, near Kinabalu Park, just below Malaysia's tallest mountain, Mount Kinabalu. Desa Cattle Dairy Farm is located at the foot of Mount Kinabalu in Kundasong Valley where most of Sabah's cow milk and dairy product have been produced. Poring is known for its hot sulfur spring bath, which was first developed by the Japanese during World War II. The hot waters of the spring are piped into open-air baths. Rafflesia, the largest flower in the world, is one of the main attractions here. The Kota Kinabalu City Mosque is the biggest and allegedly most beautiful mosque in the area. The structure can hold about 12,000 worshippers at once and is situated on stilts over a shimmering lagoon, giving the impression that it is floating on the water. Number 5. Greater Ipoh. Greater Ipoh or Kinta Valley is a conurbation in central Perak surrounding and including the state capital Ipoh and the municipality of Batu Beja and also the towns of Gopeng and Kampar. As of 2020, Greater Ipoh had a population of 737,861, with the total land area of 643 square kilometers. Historically the Kinta Valley was very rich in tin, and their mines have been among the most productive in the world. Ipoh is the capital city of the Malaysian state of Perak. Its location between Kuala Lumpur and Georgetown has made it a major land transportation hub within West Malaysia. Ipoh was famous for chicken hor fun, chicken bean sprouts, locally brewed white coffee, and nasi vangi. Interesting places to visit in Ipoh. The beautiful and intriguing of Keklok Tong Cave Temple Ipoh. Perak Cave Temple is a Buddhist temple situated in a limestone hill at Gunung Tasek Ipoh. Gua Temperung, a beautiful limestone cave. Located in Gopeng Perak is the largest cave in all of peninsular Malaysia. Han Shin Petsu is a three-story Hakka tin mining museum. It houses tools and equipment from the tin mining era. Kelly's Castle is an unfinished mansion built by a Scottish planter located in Batu Gaja, Perak. With several ghost sighting reports, the castle is believed to be haunted by many. The Lost World of Tambun is a theme park famous for its natural hot springs, tropical jungles, 400 million years old limestone formations. Gunung Long Creational Park is a perfect destination for boating, fishing, canoeing, and relaxing in the gazebos. Dr. Sina Vasagam Park is the Japanese mini-garden that creates an illusion among visitors that they are actually in Japan. Ipo City is also known as a gateway to the Cameron Highlands Hill Station. Some of the top things to do in Cameron Highlands include hiking through the enchanting mossy forest. You can also learn about the area's tea industry when you visit Bo Tea Plantation. Cameron Highlands is approximately 90 kilometers from Ipoh. Strawberry Park. Park. Cameron Lavender Garden. The Abudiya Mosque in Kuala Kansar 
Harak is considered one of the most beautiful mosques in the country. The golden dome and minaret of the mosque are evidence of the beauty of Islamic architecture. Number 4. Greater Kuching. Greater Kuching refers to the urbanist areas surrounding the metropolitan city of Kuching North and Kuching South, with districts of Padawan, Bo, Kota Samarahan, and Syrian. The area comprising a total area of 2,030.94 square kilometers with population of 934,315 in 2020. Kuching is the largest city on the island of Borneo and fourth largest metropolitan cities in Malaysia. Kuching is the capital and the most populous city in the state of Sarawak. The Kuching waterfront is a two-kilometer long riverside esplanade stretching from the main hotel and commercial heartland of the city to downtown Kuching. The Pan Borneo Highway is Malaysia's biggest road project that spans over 2,000 kilometers, connecting Kuching City with other major towns in Sarawak. Daryl Hana Pedestrian Bridge With a distinctive S-shaped design inspired by the Sarawak River, this is the only pedestrian river connecting North and South Kuching. Shop for souvenir at the main bazaar among the single-story shop houses opposite the waterfront. Most of the shops are over a century old and you will be able to buy souvenirs, blowpipes, swords, baskets, mats, rugs, bamboo and other local produce. Look out for souvenirs that are unique among the various ethnic groups of Sarawak. Just a 35-minute drive outside of Kuching will take you to the Sarawak Cultural Village, where you can learn all about the different indigenous groups that live in this part of Malaysia, as well as take in a range of local crafts and buildings. Bako National Park Bako National Park is located about 37 kilometers away from Kuching. It is named after the mangrove tree, Rhizophora or Bacau and is the top destination among all the national parks in Sarawak. There are many animals that you can see roaming in the wild here. Of particular interest is the proboscis monkeys. If you are in Kuching, one of the day trip that you can do is to visit Sarawak Wind Cave and Fairy Cave which are located near the town of Bao. Gold mining was the main activity in Bao in the 1840s with the Chinese being the main player in this industry. Meet the Orangutans Samengo Nature Reserve, just a short drive from Kuching and a very popular day trip, is home to a thriving population of orangutans. Kuching Floating Mosque The floating mosque located on the banks of the Sarawak River is the latest attraction in the city after the Daryl Hanna Bridge. It is also open to the non-Muslim public to give them an opportunity to see for themselves the unique interior designs. Number 3. Greater Johor Bahru Greater Johor Bahru or Iskandar Malaysia the development region encompasses an area of 4,749 square kilometers covering Johor Bara District, Kulai District, and part of Pontian District. The population of Iskandar Malaysia is 2,214,006 in 2020. Johor Bara City is the capital of state of Johor and the commercial hub for southern Malaysia and one of the biggest industrial centers of the country. The distance from Kuala Lumpur to Johor Bahru is 334.59 km by North-South Federal Highway. Johor is connected by two bridges with neighboring country Singapore. For Singaporeans, Johor Bahru is actually a very cheap place to do shopping. Upcoming projects Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System RTS, Link. The RTS Link is a cross-border rail service between the Malaysia station in Bukit Chagar JB and Singapore station at Woodlands North. Forest City Forest City is a new development of future township in Iskandar, Malaysia. Compromising for man-made islands, the newly built Forest City will be a smart and green futuristic city that combines environment and technology.
famous landmarks and attractions in Johor Bahru are Bang Yunnan Sultan Ibrahim, the former State Secretariat Building of Johor. Istana Bisar, the former royal residence of Sultan Abu Bakar, the main attraction here is the Royal Abu Bakar Museum. Sultan Abu Bakar Mosque. Johor Zoo. Johor Zoo was one of the first zoos to be built in Southeast Asia and dates from 1928. There are over a hundred different species of animals here. Legoland Malaysia. Legoland Malaysia is not just all about Lego models, but also has many fun-filled activities that are sure to make your trip worthwhile. It consists of a water park, theme park, and SEA Life Aquarium. Other popular attractions within the state of Johor are a visit to the waterfalls at Kota Tinggi, a trip to the water village at the town of Ku Ku, and boat to Tiaman Island from Merzing. The major gateway to the Tiaman Island is Merzing, a coastal town, 136 kilometers northeast of Johor Bahru. Aralmigo Sri Rajakalium and Glass Temple the Aralmagusri Rajakalium and Glass Temple is one of the most important buildings for the Hindu community in Johor Bahru and was the first Hindu building in the world to be made of glass. Sultan Iskandar Mosque Sultan Iskandar Mosque is located at Bandar Dato On, Johor Bahru. It is capable of accommodating 4,600 worshippers at any one time. It is equipped with a large dome in the middle and flanked by five small domes. Number 2. Greater Penang Greater Penang Conurbation encompasses most of the state of Penang, which includes Penang Island, Sebarang Prey, Sunai Petani, Kulim, Bandar Baru, and Kirian. The total population in the conurbation is 2,830,897 people and covers an area of 2,563.15 square kilometers. Greater Penang serves as the main metropolitan area in northern Malaysia and also known as the Silicon Valley of the East. Georgetown is the capital city of the Malaysian state of Penang. The historical core of Georgetown has been inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2008. Penang is approximately 355.8 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. The two Penang bridges are crossings over the Penang Strait. They connect the area of Sebarang Parai on the Malay Peninsula with the island of Penang. Rapid ferry also plying the Penang Strait daily. Penang Island is among the most popular tourist destination in Southeast Asia. Bata Feringi is one of Penang's most developed beaches. The long stretch of soft, white sandy beach hosts beautiful resorts and hotels, restaurants, as well as a vibrant night market. Gurney Drive, a popular spot for both locals and tourists, Gurney Drive Penang brings forth shopping malls and delicious street food. Food, the city has been recognized as one of Asia's top street food cities by CNN, as well the world's top culinary destination by the Lonely Planet in 2014. The more prominent local dishes include Assam Laksa, Char Kwai Tio, Curry Beef, Nasi Kandar, Rojak, and Chandel. Street Art. They now stand as celebrated cultural landmarks of Georgetown, with children on a bicycle becoming one of the most photographed spots in the city. Chu Jetty. Wooden stilt houses built around a walkway in a waterside village. The wooden houses are unique as they are built above the water. Along the walk, many souvenir shops and also food stalls are available there. Penang Botanic Gardens is Malaysia's oldest botanical garden. Today, it serves as a major recreational area and also encompasses Penang's biggest waterfall, which forms part of Georgetown's water supply. Keklok Sea Temple The Keklok Sea Temple is a Buddhist temple situated in Aradam, Penang. It is the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia. Penang Hill Penang Hill is a hill resort comprising a group of peaks on Penang Island. Penang Hill is also known by the Malay name Bukit Benera. The peak of Penang Hill is accessible via the Penang Hill Funicular train from its base station off Hill Funicular Railway Road, Tanjung Buna Floating Mosque. 
The floating mosque stands on pilings and is still built on the seabed, and is the country's first ever floating mosque to be built over a sea, as opposed to straits and lakes. The mosque's grand structure is predominantly Moorish in design. Number 1. Greater Kuala Lumpur. Greater Kuala Lumpur, also known as Klang Valley, which covers the state of Selangor and the federal territories of Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya, with population of 8,455,029 as of 2020, the metropolitan area covering an area of 5,194.72 square kilometers of land. Kuala Lumpur is a federal territory and the capital city of Malaysia. It is one of the fastest growing cities in Asia. Kuala Lumpur is widely recognized for numerous landmarks, including Petronas Twin Towers. The Petronas Towers, 88 story, are the world's tallest twin skyscrapers. The Petronas Towers remained as the tallest buildings in Malaysia until 2021, when they were surpassed by the Merdeka 118. Merdeka 118 is a 644 meter mega tall skyscraper currently under construction. Upon completion, the skyscraper will become the second tallest building in the world behind Dubai's Burj Khalifa. KL Tower KL Tower is a 15 story, 421 meter tall telecommunication tower in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Also, Malaysia and Southeast Asia's tallest tower. The KL and Klang Valley Integrated Rail System Network is the backbone of KL's public transportation system, with more than 170 stations and combined route length of more than 500 kilometers. The Chinatown of Kuala Lumpur, commonly known as Pedaling Street, is one of them. Chinatown features many pre-independence buildings with Straits Chinese and colonial architectural influences, Bata Caves. Bata Caves is a limestone hill that has a series of caves and cave temples in Gombak, Selangor, Malaysia. The cave is one of the most popular Hindu shrines outside India. Lake Gardens The Pradena Botanical Garden or Lake Gardens was the first recreational park created in Kuala Lumpur. The park includes a butterfly park, deer park, orchid garden, a hibiscus garden, and the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park, which is the world's largest aviary bird park. Putrajaya Putrajaya, city and federal territory of Malaysia, located in West Central Peninsular Malaysia. It is situated 25 kilometers south of the capital, Kuala Lumpur, and serves as the country's administrative center. Other tourist destinations in Kuala Lumpur include the Bukit Bintang Shopping District, the Merdeka Square and Sultan Abdul Samad Building, the Sultan Abdul Samad Jamek Mosque, the Kuala Lumpur Railway Station, the National Theatre or Istana Budaya, Salomo Link, and National Zoo. Henteng Highlands. Henteng Highlands is an integrated resort development comprising hotels, casinos, shopping malls and the latest Skywards theme park. Nestled near the border of Selangor about 35 kilometers away from Kuala Lumpur, Henteng represents a popular weekend getaway from KL, connected by highways, roads and cable car via Oana Skyway. Chin Sui Cave Temple is a Chinese temple perched on a rocky slope before the summit, connected by road or cable car via Oana Skyway. The temple was built by the founder of Henteng Lin Gotong. Masjid Walaya Persecutuan or Federal Mosque, it accommodates 17,000 worshippers. The design is a blend of Malay, Ottoman, Moorish and Iranian architectural styles, heavily influenced by the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey. Thanks for watching.